Hello and welcome to another Valio technical training. Today we'll be covering in depth the Valio stop start technologies that started a generation of ever advancing hybrid tech. First, let's start with some basics. So there are three main types of hybrid vehicles, full hybrid like a Toyota Prius or a Ford Escape hybrid, where these types of EVs can use an electrical motor that can take over as the primary source of propulsion. Mild hybrids like the Honda Insight or LaFerrari, where electric motors can assist the engine. Or micro hybrids, where either a starter alternator or a reinforced starter is used that allows it to stop start the engine during operation. And this is available at least as an option in the majority of current production models. Vehicles with this start-stop technology are considered micro-hybrids and have two potential system architectures. One, the reinforced starter is fitted in place of a conventional starter and the vehicle is still equipped with a high-efficiency conventional alternator. Or, the starter alternator is a belt-driven solution where the vehicle is still equipped with a conventional starter for cold starting, but is started and stopped with the alternator itself. These two systems are managed by various sensors and driven by an electronic control unit to control all the information sent. The voltage stabilizer keeps comfort functions active, such as air conditioning, radio, during stop phases, and can restart the engine if the system demand for comfort systems gets too high. Some engine sensors, such as engine cooling temperature or exhaust or cycling phase and others can be used. Or transmission sensors show when the vehicle is stopped, when the neutral gear sensor is active or others, depending on the type of gearbox, whether it's manual, automatic, or robotized. Stop start vehicles also need a specific battery to ensure increased in variable cycles and a spy bat to check the battery load. During the stopping phase, the ECU will automatically check three conditions, safety, engine, and comfort. If one sensor is in fault, stop start function can't be activated. For example, if the driver's seatbelt must be fastened, the hood and doors are closed, defrosting and defogging is disabled, minimum engine temperature is reached, the battery charge is sufficient. These parameters and sensors used for the stop-start function depend on each car maker's stop-start strategy. Repeated stopping and starting phases requires an adaptive battery. Two types of batteries can be used. The absorptive glass mat or AGM battery, which shares a few design technologies with the traditional flooded battery but holds additional features, such as its fully sealed and leak-proof, VRLA recumbent technology, and calcium plates. The AGM battery has unique features that differentiate it from traditional conventional flooded battery, dramatically increasing its all-around performance in an automotive application. Or the enhanced flooded battery, or EFB, which is based on an improved flooded battery design with increased cyclic durability and improved ability to accept charge currents by various changes to battery construction. The use of a specific battery also requires adaptive devices. The BCS, Battery Control Sensor, or SPYBAT, are installed on the negative terminal. This measures the voltage, current, and temperature directly at the battery. This data provides the battery state of charge, battery state of health, and also state of function, whether there is enough energy in the battery for the engine to be automatically switched off and restarted. Furthermore, the sensor can help to reduce the risk of a breakdown due to a weak battery. The sensor features a local interconnect network, LIN, or controller area network, CAN, interface for data and diagnostic communication. Here are a couple different conditions. If a battery state of charge is too low, less than 75%, or if the temperature is under 32 degrees Fahrenheit, the combustion engine will not be stopped to protect the engine. If during a stop phase the battery state of charge decreases, the ECU gets the input to restart the engine. In order to maintain the comfort and permit the short restarting of the engine, the electrical architecture must be adapted to the stop start. It must supply sufficient electrical power to restart the engine many times using battery voltage control. It must have permanent supply to the electronic control unit to avoid shutdown, keeping control to the engine sensors. Safety functions must be maintained such as lights, brake boosters, electrical power steering, and power must be maintained on comfort and infotainment series, keeping radio and GPS locations on. Now we'll go in depth to Valio's reinforced starter or restart system. The architecture you see here is used for the restart or reinforced starter system, associated with a specific battery, either an AGM or EFB. When the engine is running, the electric architecture is the same as a standard vehicle. The alternator charges the battery that supplies energy to the ECU and other functions. When the engine is stopped, the car battery supplies energy to all the vehicle architecture like a standard car. 
The main difference of this architecture is during the restart phase. The car battery supplies high current to the reinforced starter to start the engine and supplies energy to the comfort functions. But to keep the ECU and other electronic control units safe, a specific DC to DC converter like an auxiliary battery supplies the energy. Using a DC to DC converter rather than a standard battery like the first architecture offers three main advantages. First, switching efficiency is improved. Second, because less energy is lost in the transfer, smaller components and less thermal management are required. And third, the energy stored by an inductor in a switching regulator can be transformed to output voltages that can be greater than the input, negative, or can even be transferred through a transformer to provide electrical isolation with respect to the input. In the second gen restart architecture, the system remains the same as the standard vehicle setup with the alternator supplying power to the battery and vehicle functions. The difference in this architecture is that the engine control unit is separate from the board network and we will go over why. During stop phase, the car battery supplies energy to the board network and ECUs. An embedded stabilized system with a voltage regulator with a functional operating supply voltage between 3.5 volts and 28 volts supplies and supports extended current capabilities up to 150 milliamps to optionally supply external components such as a CAN transceiver. Different advanced operating modes and abundant wake-up sources and other features support effective low power operation. At the restart phase, the car battery supplies high current to the reinforced starter. The stabilization function supplies current only to the car ECU on a dedicated network to maintain saved values of each engine sensor and to provide a quick start. This reinforced starter provides the extra durability needed for repeated stopping and starting when the vehicle comes to a complete standstill. Restart has minimal impact on engine architecture. It can be applied to a variety of engine types and displacement. The value restart offers decreased durability, comfort, power efficiency with a low voltage drop, and a longer life expectancy with higher outputs. Now we'll go in depth into Valio's STARS system. Alternators generate electricity due to alternate motion of a magnetic field between a rotating magnet called a rotor within a stationary set of conductors wounding coils on an iron core called the stator. The starter turns because a magnetic field exerted between the stationary electromagnet called a stator and the rotating electromagnet called a rotor. The STARS system uses these two principles to generate electricity to start the engine. The first STARS architecture used in 2005 has a secondary battery under the passenger seat to supply energy during the stopping phase. In running mode, the starter alternator supplies current to the board net and battery and the comfort functions just like a standard alternator. In the stop phase, the auxiliary battery supplies current to keep active the comfort functions and the vehicle and engine ECUs. To restart the engine, the star system uses the current from the auxiliary battery to ignite the engine. On this architecture, the two batteries are conventional, one for the functioning phase and another only for the stopping phase. Note, the other battery under the seat is typically similar to a motorcycle battery. The second generation iStars architecture utilizes a supercapacitor and MOSFET. During running mode, the MOSFETs are managed by the central voltage ECU. This ECU communicates using the CAN network with the central ECU. The central voltage ECU measures the voltage of the energy accumulator in order to determine the level of charge to begin charging or not charging the accumulator. The central voltage ECU authorizes recharging of the energy accumulator by controlling the position of the switches. In the driving phase with the energy accumulator discharged, the I stars is in alternator mode, meaning it will charge the batteries, recharge the energy accumulator, and provide electrical energy to the vehicle network. Now let's see what happens in stop mode. During stop mode, the MOSFET K2 opens to allow the car battery to supply the current. The AGM battery supplies energy to the comfort functions and to the car ECU to continue recording all data. During the restart phase, the K1 MOSFET is opening at the same time K2 and K3 are closing the circuit to put in series the supercapacitor and car battery to increase the current and avoid drop voltage due to the restarting. The ISTAR system has two modes of functioning. The alternator mode where kinetic energy is taken from the combustion engine and transformed into electrical energy to be stored in the battery similar to a regular alternator but with higher efficiency. 
and starter mode where the starter alternator transforms the electrical energy from the battery into mechanical energy and generates torque required to spin the crankshaft via the belt drive to start the engine. As the vehicle's alternator, the iStars Electronics improved the system's electrical efficiency to make it one of the most efficient alternators on the market. The understanding of the initial position of the rotor is essential to starting the engine correctly. The position sensor is comprised of a fixed target magnet rotor having a number of pole pairs equal to that of the machine, and a three Hall effect sensor secured to the stator. With this device, the position information is encoded in the form of three signals. In starter mode, the voltages applied to the stator are synchronized with the rotor position, and initial calibration is optimized for maximum starting torque. The STAR system must provide a minimum of 30 pound-feet of torque. A powerful booster module is required to deliver the power surge needed to assure easy engine starting even at below freezing temperatures. The module needs to get the engine to idling speed quickly so as to make vibrations and engine noises practically unnoticeable within 400 milliseconds twice as fast as a normal starter motor. Unlike batteries, which produce and store energy by means of a chemical reaction, ultracapacitors store energy in an electric field. This electrostatic energy storage mechanism enables ultracapacitors to charge and discharge in as little as fractions of a second. The energy accumulator of the e-booster module is responsible for storing and then delivering the electrical power to assist the first start and then restarting of the engine in stop-start mode. It is composed of two capacitors of nitrile acetate connected in series and one temperature sensor. Here we see a pinout for the connector for the accumulator. Before removing any part of the e-booster module, discharge the energy accumulator with the special tool after the network has fallen into sleep mode. The iStar starter alternator optimizes the stop-start strategy required by the automaker. By combining a high efficiency alternator, an integrated control module, and MOSFET voltage regulation, it enables the engine to be switched off and restarted before the vehicle is reached a complete standstill. Restarting is almost instantaneous at 400 milliseconds, silent, and without vibration. And the system is compatible with all manual automatic transmissions. Now we'll go over some recommendations when diagnosing and servicing the stop start system. Valio's restart system has the same operations as a conventional starter with no specific tools or operations required. When restarting the vehicle, it's advisable to connect the diagnostic tool to check for any fault codes. Any fault in the sensors can deactivate the stop-start function, i.e. battery charge or sensor connections. Respect the type of battery recommended by the manufacturer. When reconnecting the battery, it may be necessary to reset the battery recognition process. In order to do this, turn on the aux power and press the stop start button for 20 seconds. The screen will show the ego active accompanied by a beep signal. And respect the type of OEM starter used. A reinforced starter cannot be mounted if the car was not originally equipped. The Value iStar system requires no additional procedures or time to repair compared to a conventional alternator. Respect the manufacturer's recommendations regarding tool usage and tightening torques for the bolts and belts. When restarting the vehicle, it's advisable to connect a diagnostic tool to check for any fault codes. Any faults in the sensors can deactivate the stop-start function, i.e. battery charging or sensor connections. Same as the restart system, when connecting the battery, it may be necessary to reset the battery recognition process. In order to do this, turn on the aux power and press the stop-start button for 20 seconds. The screen will show the ego active, accompanied by a beep signal. If you'd like to learn more about electrical system components or other Valio technologies, check out one of our other trainings at valioservice.us.